Hello, in today's video, I'm going to talk about citric acid and if this is a food ingredient you should avoid in consumer products, especially processed food and drinks. So to start, what is citric acid? Citric acid is an organic compound that's naturally found in fruits and vegetables, with citrus fruits having the largest amounts. A unique characteristic of citric acid is its sour and bitter taste. Specifically, citric acid naturally occurs in lemons, limes, oranges, tangerines, grapefruits, pomelos, and in smaller amounts in strawberries, pineapples, figs, pomegranates, cherries, raspberries, cranberries, blackberries, tomatoes, lettuce, and potatoes. This compound is also found in organisms such as mold. Citric acid is naturally colorless and odorless with a distinctive acidic taste. It does not contain vitamin C as some might suspect and does not contain essential vitamins or minerals. With a pH level between 3 to 6, it's considered a weak acid. When manufactured, citric acid is produced in a powder or liquid form as well as in supplement and medication form. It often looks like salt and thus sometimes referred to as sour salt. Today, most citric acid found in food, drinks, and other manufactured goods are synthetic and produced in a lab. While citric acid can be produced from fruits and vegetables, it's expensive to do so, so it's not widely done. Since the beginnings of food manufacturing in the late 1800s, citric acid has been added to food and drinks. In 1794, Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Scheele isolated the compound from lemon juice and crystallized it. In 1917, food chemist James Curry found that citric acid could be produced with a strain of black mold, Aspergillus niger. This is the current method used today. Most citric acid in processed food and drinks is produced through microbial fermentation. In fact, only 1% of processed citric acid is derived from fruit. The process starts by growing the mold Aspergillus niger in pans, adding carbohydrate substances such as sugar to encourage fermentation. Additional ingredients such as potassium phosphate and magnesium sulfate are included. Once the targeted pH level is reached, the pans are introduced to Aspergillus niger spores and they germinate, eventually covering the liquid. The result is mold. After a few days, the citric acid starts to form as the sugar is consumed. The process ends when the mold consumes all the sugar. This process can take anywhere from 6 to 15 days. Citric acid has many uses in food and drink and beyond. Generally, manufactured citric acid is frequently used in these categories food, drinks, cosmetics, dietary supplements, and cleaning products. It is estimated that around 70% of globally produced citric acid is used by the food and drink industry and 20% is used by the cosmetic and pharmaceutical industries. 10% is used by the cleaning product industry. There are several reasons why citric acid is popular in consumer products. With food and drink, citric acid acts as a preservative keeping food and drink fresh and improves flavor, color, and texture. It also increases the acidity level in foods, which can prevent mold, mildew, bacteria, and fungus from forming. For example, many canned and bottled foods have citric acid to prevent Clostridium botulinum, or botulism for short. Citric acid also balances the sweetness in beverages such as with soda, tea, and juice. It is often an alternative to pure lemon juice or vinegar when producing seasonings and chips. And because citric acid easily blends with liquid, it serves as an emulsifying agent. With cosmetics and medications, citric acid improves stability and serves as a preservative as well. It is known in skin products to improve elasticity and firmness. In medications, it serves as an antioxidant to preserve essential vitamins and minerals. And on a smaller scale, it improves the taste of chewables and liquid medications by reducing the bitterness of active ingredients. Additionally, magnesium and calcium supplements contain citric acid to improve absorption. It's also used in preparations of vitamin C. It bonds effortlessly to vitamins and minerals in a process called chelation. This causes the body to easily digest and absorb the chelated minerals. Going back to cosmetics and skincare, citric acid is often found in masks and lotions. It's known to be an antioxidant that can reduce the signs of aging by encouraging new skin growth and eliminating free radicals. Other benefits are brightening skin, reducing dark spots, eliminating harmful bacteria, and preventing skin infections. 
and with cleaning products, it serves as a disinfectant. Since it easily bonds with minerals, citric acid is known to soften water. This makes it ideal in soaps, shampoos, and laundry detergents. It's also effective in removing hard water, calcium deposits, rust stains, and soap scum. Some even use citric acid as a pesticide for managing their crops. As you know, citric acid is in a lot of products, food, drinks, skin care, cleaning, and more. It's a highly versatile and a valuable compound, even in its synthetic form. With food and drink accounted for the largest category utilizing citric acid, it's commonly found in juice, soda, energy drinks, syrups, jams, and jellies, wine, beer, candy, especially sour candy, ketchup, canned food, bottled food, meat, seasonings, crunchy snacks, prepared fruits and vegetables, hummus, salsa, the list goes on. And while not specifically added, citric acid is often a byproduct of cheese, wine, and sourdough bread. Citric acid is largely believed to have many benefits to humans, health-wise and beyond. A top benefit is that the compound is natural and has very little to no risk to the environment. However, this appears to be the case for naturally occurring citric acid. Some noted benefits of citric acid are its alpha hydroxy acid, AHA, properties. Citric acid acts as an exfoliator to slough off dead skin cells. In low concentrations, citric acid can aid in improving skin tone and texture, unclog pores, and promote cell turnover. Since this is an antioxidant, it can help defend against free radicals and inflammation, which increases the signs of aging. It can treat and prevent kidney stones. Citric acid aids in increasing urine citrate, which wards off calcium stones and reduces urine acidity. This prevents uric acid and cysteine stones from forming. Consuming citrus fruits or lemon water is a natural way to avoid kidney stones. It can improve mineral absorption, such as with magnesium citrate, citric acid with magnesium oxide. A study found that magnesium citrate had the highest absorption compared to magnesium chelate and magnesium oxide. And another study found that calcium citrate was the easiest absorbed calcium supplement. Other benefits of citric acid are it helps metabolize energy, improves bone health, and protects the brain due to its antibiotic and anti-inflammatory properties. It is not fully clear if all these benefits are attributed to synthetic citric acid or naturally occurring citric acid. It's better to assume that these benefits are significant in naturally occurring citric acid. But despite these benefits, there are some concerns with consuming citric acid mainly based on excessive consumption. From an external standpoint, some note that utilizing high amounts of citric acid in skin care and body care products can lead to damage, such as with shampoo containing citric acid. With overuse, it can open the hair cuticles stripping them of essential minerals. In some cases, it can bleach the hair. And high exposure to citric acid on the skin can lead to irritation. So those with sensitive skin should be mindful of this. Many note tooth enamel erosion as a major negative side effect of citric acid. This is the case even with naturally occurring citric acid in fruits. Consuming too many fruits at a given point of time with citric acid can wear the enamel and even lead to heartburn. However, this can be minimized by drinking water during and after consumption of these foods. Some suggest to pair these fruits with less acidic foods like brown rice, bananas, nuts, and cheese. Other negative side effects of excessive citric acid consumption are canker sores, atopic dermatitis, upset stomach, lightheadedness, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, numbness of hands or feet, asthma, and acid reflux. It's important to note that with synthetic citric acid, which is the most common form used in consumer goods, people who are allergic or sensitive to corn, beets, or cane sugar may want to avoid any citric acid they are unsure of its origins. While some have also warned about mold reactions associated with synthetic citric acid, research hasn't made it clear whether citric acid from Aspergillus niger is harmful. Nevertheless, there has been concern that this form of citric acid could be linked to impaired immune function, allergies, and more if inhaled. However, it has been found that this species of mold isn't known to be dangerous or toxic for most people. But those with impaired immune function or concerns may want to avoid or greatly reduce their consumption of synthetic citric acid. Currently, the FDA considers citric acid as a generally recognized as safe GRAS, food ingredient. The Environmental Working Group, EWG, classifies citric acid as not expected to be potentially toxic or harmful 
and is a low human health priority. Despite some people's concerns of citric acid derived from black mold linked to allergies, respiratory, and other problems, Research hasn't confirmed that link. More research is needed to confirm the true harm of Aspergillus niger, especially its connection to allergies and sensitivities. As of now, there are no scientific studies focused on the safety of synthetic citric acid when it's consumed in large quantities over a long period of time. But there are reports of individuals experiencing the side effects mentioned earlier and allergic reactions, though researchers in some of these studies stated that they can't prove that synthetic citric acid was the main cause for the side effects in those studies. Some believe that because synthetic citric acid is derived from black mold, it has gotten a bad reputation for being harmful since it's from the same mold that often builds up in wet environments such as the bathroom. However, the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology states that the black mold in citric acid is filtered from the final product, making it unlikely that it's in the citric acid added to food and drink. Overall, researchers state that they haven't found synthetic citric acid to have any serious negative impact on health other than those who are allergic to it. They conclude that more research and evidence is needed to confirm the safety of synthetic citric acid. So with what's known about citric acid, should you consume it? If it's naturally occurring citric acid in fruits and vegetables, I say yes. Natural citric acid is high in antioxidants, which can aid in fighting disease, combat the signs of aging, and protect against inflammation. In regards to synthetic citric acid, I say yes, it's okay to consume, though I would suggest doing so in low or small doses. Currently, there is a lot of controversy surrounding the safety of synthetic citric acid, especially with long-term and excessive consumption. Though many will not experience negative reactions or side effects to synthetic citric acid, some will, such as gastrointestinal and skin sensitivities. For those individuals, it may be best to avoid products that contain this ingredient. The same goes for those with mold allergies and sensitivities. It is also important to note that synthetic citric acid is usually made with GMO ingredients and produced with beet and corn sugars, which are common GMO products. If you have sensitivities to these foods or want to avoid GMO ingredients, unless the ingredient list or packaging states that it's an organic or GMO-free product, I would avoid synthetic citric acid. In the end, it's too soon to say whether synthetic citric acid is a healthy or safe product to consume regularly. The research is inconclusive and many researchers state that more studies need to be done. With all the side effects associated with synthetic citric acid and citric acid in general, it's better to avoid this additive if you have a known allergy or experience an allergy or sensitivity to it. And if you have no negative reactions to it, it's best to be mindful of your consumption of it since high amounts can lead to tooth enamel erosion, skin irritation, gastrointestinal problems, and more. Some alternatives for those who want to avoid citric acid is to opt for vinegar or fresh squeezed lemon, lime, or orange juice when cooking, eating, or drinking. There are also products on the market such as canned and bottled foods that don't contain citric acid. Reading the labels, especially the ingredient list, is key. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope I clearly explain what citric acid is, the different types, and its effects on health. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and share so others wanting to learn about this popular food additive can discover this video. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos, and until next time, take care.